guys this is Des thanks so much for joining me today today I'm going to show you just a few of my favorite products from October and November and I'll be using a lot of these products into December because it's holiday time and a lot of these products have sort of like a holiday effect um, when you wear them in a particular way so before I get started with this the main stuff I just want to thank all my new subscribers for joining on with me. I do appreciate it and I hope and that I hope you enjoy find something videos. in my videos that you can use and work for you. So on with the favorites for October, November and December. First I'm going to start with the Milani. This is the Milani concealer and it's called the Secret Cover Cream Concealer and this is it right here. I'm this is a highly pigmented concealer guys and I picked this up from CVS drugstores and it was under I think it was under five dollars was really a great price but the best part about this concealer and I'm going to show you I'm going to be using two colors one of the colors is a little darker as you can see and one is closer to my skin tone while the other one which is the lighter one acts as a highlight what I want to highlight around my eyes or my brow area or highlighting around my lip area just a little bit. These cream concealers again are highly pigmented and they cover dark spots, they cover circles, they cover tattoos so I really like that a lot and I'm going to be using, the, I've been using that for a while now but really consistently the last two months and I'll continue using it in December. Uh, another product I want to talk to you about is my wig. I've had this wig for quite a few weeks now. I've worn it a lot and the one thing about this wig is I thought maybe like after four or five wears it started to get like a little frizzy where it, you know looked like well maybe it's time to stop wearing it. So what I did was with this wig and first let me tell you the name of it. This wig is called Lace Desire. The color is a 1B and it's a synthetic and it is by a company called It's a Wig. And that's the name. Lace Desire. And I picked this up at HairWigHarlem.com. But I got this wig back into a nice smooth curl with this product, guys. This product is called Dream Curls. And it's by John Frieda. It's by, it's part of that Frizz Freeze, Frizz Ease collection. And it says curl perfecting so spray. Even though this wig is a synthetic, this product worked really well on it. Now, I use this product again. I blend just a little bit of this product into a bottle of water about this size. And then I just sprayed the wig very lightly all over, just kind of mushing it together as I did, sort of to let the curls form again, and just spraying it all over until it's just damp, not wet, but damp. And then as it dried, it dried into very smooth looking curls, just as if it looked when it came out the package. So I was really, really pleased with this product. So this product works really well on this wig, provided that you dilute it. Now, after this wig dried, it did feel like it had a bit of a film on it, just a slight film. But after it dried, I just took my hands and I just redid this to it. And then it felt soft again. So you can do that and I guess that you can use this product on some of your other wigs and hair weaves of this type but it worked really well on this synthetic hair so keep that in mind if you want to revive a style similar to this that you don't want to wear anymore because you think it looks frizzy and it came out really really nice I like it a lot um, again I said I diluted this so and I recommend that you dilute this product also because it can be kind of sticky and feel as if you have a film on your hair, at least on the synthetic wigs. And it worked really well, again, on the curly Remy wig that I had uh, made. So that John, it's called um, Dream Curls, and it's by the John Frieda Collection. And it's part of his Frizz Ease, that Frizz Ease Collection. Check it out, guys. Next product I love. Now guys, you know I love my Ardell lashes and I always will because they always just come through. They last a long time. You can wear them multiple times. But I have been trying this product by Kiss and it is from the beauty supply store and it's called I Envy. I Envy. And I am absolutely in love with these lashes. 
I'm absolutely in love with these lashes. They look a little bit more natural than some of the Ardell styles that I wear. This style is called Natural 01. So it's called All Natural and number is 01. And this is the this is the kind of lash that I wear every day because it looks nice and natural. It's not too much, it's not too long for every day. And for the holiday, I'll definitely wear this natural eyelash because I'm gonna just make my eye pop with eye makeup. Um, along with the Eye Envy, I have been using their lash glue. And this lash glue boasts that it lasts on your eye for 16 hours. And um, I have to say that that was true for me. I used my double bonding stick method, sticking method where I apply just a little bit of the lash glue along the base of my lash and on the base of the eyelash and then once you apply the two, the two bonded areas hold very tightly until you remove it, um, which for me it lasts more than 24 hours. Uh, I really like the Eye Envy product. I'm going to continue using them. And um, I'll, I'll keep using my Ardell's, but I'm just having so much fun with this. And they cost $2.99 at the beauty supply store. And the Ardell's cost a little more. Now, if you buy the Ardell's online, you can get a pair of lashes for this price, $2.99 or $2.69. But this is really good. But these eyelashes last a really long time. I've had these on for, I would, I've maybe used them like five or six times and I will do a video to show you guys how to clean your lashes once you remove them and how to um, just sterilize them so you can keep using them. And that is the IMV and that's the Natural 01 and that's it right there. Really nice. Next I'm going really nice. to be um, wearing the earrings that I shared with you guys earlier. The earrings, I picked these up from hairstoppingshop.com and I definitely will be sporting these snowflake teardrop earrings this holiday, all holiday. Now my husband and I are going away a couple of times in December, so I'll have a jewelry wardrobe now and this definitely will be included in them. And this is from hairstoppingshop.com. Along with that was my favorite pair that I reviewed for you in that video. And this is called the Crystal, the Crystal Drop with a crystal teardrop. But let me just show you that, guys. Let me just turn this around so you guys can see that. It, that is so pretty, and I look forward to wearing that. I look forward to wearing this earring, and it has six crystals at the top. They're just like, kind of like, almost like dripping down. It's really pretty. I will be wearing those. Look forward to wearing those, along with these that I picked up from the beauty supply store for $2.99. And that's really nice too. And this has multiple amber colored stones in them, amber colored crystals rather. And it looks really, really nice. Let me see if I can pull them for you guys. And that's the earring, really, really nice. Look at that. And it drops beautifully. Along with that, I am going to be using my Brown Skin Beauty Deep Essential Cosmetics. I'll be taking that along with me, and I've been using them um, religiously the last few weeks. Uh, one of the shades that I've been using is called Cougar, and I have that on today. Beautiful purple at the top that I have on the base of my eye. And this color right here is a lighter purple. It looks great, but it's actually like a light lavender and I have that under my eye, right under here, and in the corner. If you can see a pop of light in the corner of my eye, that is this color right here. Along with that, I have on these two other two palettes that I got from Yvette, Brown Skin Beauty Diva Essential. Very quickly, I'm gonna show you them. I have the, I have this color on in my, let me show you the right one now. This one is in my brow area, this one right here, just to give a little light to the eye. And then to help contour out a little bit, I'm using this palette. This palette is called Muse. And this black is very, very intense and all you need is a little bit to help contour. And that palette that I showed you where I used this color in my brow area, this palette is called Naked. 
And on my lip, I am wearing my lip gloss by Brown Skin Beauty Diva Essential. And this is called Plush. And I have that on right now. And I've really been using it. You can see it's going down. I love that color. And guys, let me that's just a touch of what I'm going to be showing you. So that's some of my favorites. That's like the makeup. For blush, I am going to be using this blush. This is called Golden. This is by Milani. This is a bronzer. And this is what the case looks like. And this is called Golden. And it's a bronzer. It's their darker bronzer. Comes with its own brush, which I don't use. I use my 182 Kabuki brush by Sigma Makeup. Love it, love it. And I just take this, just dab it on the brush, and apply it and blend it. Put a little on the brush, apply it and blend it. I will definitely be taking this along, along with my Kabuki brush, and I will be using it also throughout the holiday and throughout the month of December. So that's it for now. Guys, I have a couple of surprises I'm going to share with you at another time in another video. Definitely we'll be doing some more um, uh, clothes for you guys that's coming up. I have more makeup reviews coming up and more hair tutorials coming up for you. So we have I have a lot of stuff before this month is over and I hope to get it all in before the December is gone. So with that said, guys, you be well and you be blessed. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the information box below, and I will be happy to answer you as soon as I can. So you take care now. Bye-bye.